Hello, my name is Magnus Peterson. This talk is about meta optimization of particle swarm optimization. An optimization problem is a function f mapping from a search space or a domain to a codomain, in this case, real valued. The optimal solution is one that satisfies this equation, which basically means that the fitness of the optimal solution is better than the fitness of all other potential solutions in the search space. The traditional way of finding the optimal solution is to follow the gradient of the function f. But if we don't know the gradient, then we may consider f to be a black box function and we can use heuristic optimization. A popular heuristic optimizer is known as particle swarm optimization. We have a swarm of particles where the position in the search space is denoted x and each particle also has a velocity v. These are initialized with random values and updated using these equations. The equation for the velocity has a few parameters which the user can set. The parameter omega, phi p and phi g. And when we have updated the velocity, we add it to the particle's current position and we get the new position. In addition to the parameters omega, phi p and phi g, the PSO also has a parameter s, which is the number of particles in the swarm. The choice of these parameters greatly influence the performance on optimization problems. So it's important that we have good parameters. Um, one way of determining the parameters is by trial and error. And that takes a long time. It's a researcher trying out different parameters on different problems, seeing what works and what doesn't work. It is also quite popular to have adaptive or self-adaptive parameters, but I have not seen any solid scientific evidence that it actually works. A problem with an increasing number of parameters, let's say we have phi whatever and different other parameters up here, is that every time we add another parameter, we exponentially increase the number of parameter combinations. And this is known as the curse of dimensionality for the parameter space. So we need an efficient way of searching for good parameters. Um, and this is essentially another optimization problem, which we call meta optimization. So this is a, known as a meta fitness landscape. And we have one axis, which is the PSO parameter omega. The other axis is the parameter phi g. And we cannot depict more than two parameters and the performance on those parameters. But what this graph shows is that we have a landscape and uh, the goal is to find the lowest point, which is probably here somewhere. Um, and those are the parameters that perform best on the given problems and under the given settings. So the idea of meta optimization is that we have the optimizer, in this case, PSO. We have some problems, which may be benchmark problems or real world problems. Then we have the meta optimizer, which could be a PSO as well, but we will use another optimizer because it's more efficient. So the idea is that the meta optimizer generates parameters, sends them down to the PSO, which performs a number of optimizations on the problems that we're interested in. The results get sent all the way back up to the meta optimizer, which uses the results to find out a new set of parameters for the PSO to try out. And this continues a number of times until we have found uh, a good enough choice of parameters for the PSO. This is what the pseudocode looks like. There are a number of challenges in doing meta optimization, and they have to do with the time consuming nature, nature of repeating optimization runs many, many times. So we need a good meta optimizer, and the one named LUS, which is Danish for Laus works well because it's efficient and fairly quickly finds good parameters. And when it is combined with a simple technique called preemptive fitness evaluation, it means that 
time usage is minutes or hours, depending on problem settings. The parameters found with meta optimization depends on the problem settings. For example, if we use 12 common benchmark problems in 20 dimensions each and allowing 40,000 fitness evaluations or iterations for each problem, then the good PSO parameters are found to be swarm size of 69 particles, omega of minus 0.44, and so on. Compare these to hand-tuned parameters, which are found by researchers uh, using trial and error and took a long time to find. Um, the swarm size is almost the same, but it was believed that the parameters should be positive and uh, made it optimization found that it was actually far better to have negative parameters for omega and phi p and a larger parameter for phi g. Now compare the performance of these parameters. The bold lines are the average uh, fitness or performance um, obtained with the meta-optimized parameters and the narrow lines are for the hand-tuned parameters. And this is the Rosenbrock problem, and these are Schwefel problems. And in all cases, the performance greatly increases from using meta-optimized parameters. There are a number of papers on meta-optimization. If you just need good parameters, then you should check out this paper. It has parameters that are meta-optimized for different optimization scenarios. And this is a PhD thesis, which has detailed experiments and discussions and so on. And SwarmUps is the source code for C, C-sharp, and Java. And it can all be found on this webpage.